the uh, the company Dominion that made those voting booths, yeah, and like all, and like Newsmax especially and Fox, I think, were saying like uh, the, you know that those machines were rigged or whatever. They're suing now, so like Newsmax is gonna go like bankrupt oh, because oh, Dominion wow. is just suing them, going like now you have to prove what you reported this to people. People believe you it. Ruined us. Now we go to a court of law. And you, it's slander. You're, right. you're saying we rigged this election. You're saying that, that we put in votes that were for, so now you're getting sued. You're gonna get wow. sued. So and getting sued. And I'm sure they'll be like, well, we didn't say you said you could've. Yeah. yeah. And they're gonna go, well, you know, they're gonna That's do the like Alex Jones like, did about yeah. the, when Alex Jones got caught for saying that the uh, there was crisis actors, which is one of my, it's I always funny it. to me, because like, so I was funny. like, are there auditions for, like, how does that? <laughs> I love how they're like, look, this actor was somewhere else too. He was in another yeah, crisis. And, and you're like, they're using the same guys? Yeah, Are you kidding? In the same. internet age? Yeah. Poor planning. Yeah. It's just really funny. But he, And then in, when he got sued, by, he goes, I'm playing a character. Like, It's like, just keep that same energy, man. If you're going to say that the dead kids are crisis actors... Do like Eichmann did. Say it. Say yeah. it all the way. Mm -hmm. Say they are crisis actors. That's the thing too. I like, know they're their like, agents. People are calling their 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 parents and like and like making them feel bad about their dead kid. Right. But if he really felt like they were crisis actors, it goes. He would have to say, no. He, he called some random people. Right. I'm saying they didn't have the kids. Right. Right. Oh. <laughs> right. But when he got sued, he 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 was like, I'm playing a character. That's oh. a character. That's not what I truly believe. It's entertainment. He tried to do comedic license. Which is also why comedians are getting in trouble because everyone fucking now is a content creator. So like everyone, we don't have the monopoly on funny that we used to, right. that we do in clubs. Like everyone's just like, even journalists are like throwing up, trying to be funny. Mm -hmm. Everyone's trying to be funny. Also the other thing that hurt us. So now we're lumped in with them. Yeah, the other thing that hurt us, Louis mentioned this to me, to us, whatever once. And he was like, comics went serious too much on, on like Twitter and stuff. Pick serious posts about Trump yeah, is terrible. Guilty. We got to get I'm him out. Guilty of that sometimes. We all are. Yeah. I, I made an effort to like stop that. Yeah. So so like I get it. I want people like I want to tell people like stop stop this. Just right. be funny. Right. But like um um, and so now when you're like it's just a joke. You're like how is the audience supposed to know? Right. You were just serious. Your last ten posts. Right. Now you're joking. Or your friends were both serious. You know it's like. How can Ari make a statement about COVID? It's like, no, no, I, guess I, I don't really care. Right, right. And you're like, you want to make, but it's like, well, two weeks ago you made a statement and that, that guy's a comedian. He makes statements all the time. Right, right. And you're like, oh, But then again, we should be free to be able to say something serious once in a while. But you're right. It didn't, but I think it's more that they're, con they're just content creators now. Like they're content yeah. creators. They're like, that's what it is. It's content. It's yeah. just it's uh mo it's monetized. People make money off of it, and so they can they just say whatever they want to say. And a quick and a quick um. And when you're a journalist, too. you have to, you know, you have to stick to some sort of standard. There has to be some standard or some punishment. You get beheaded there or flogged. To, so it used to be that the New York Times or the Washington Post stood for truth, and, and they had so, subscribers. Right. And so if you say something that's not true and you don't really take like, that's a major thing because. Now people aren't gonna believe that this place will always give me truth. It's kind of gone away and they're still banking on like, eh, you believe us from before. Right, that's why the subscriber model, what happened to the, in my opinion, a problem they didn't yeah. adapt, the digital media didn't adapt like they, they to the internet. They didn't adapt to the internet. Like from the giddy up, they should have been like dollar subscription or whatever, but they started giving away free articles and then now the way that they pay for that is through advertising, so they gotta get you to click. They gotta have massive ones instead so of real ones. So now they have these crazy so headlines the, to- The cool thing about the Washington Post, like the physical copy, which I started reading last year for a while, and uh, is that you have sports section, style section, metro, uh, the main, the, the world. And so it's up to you as a, as a reader to be like, what's catch gonna catch my eye? And it might be the girls volleyball volleyball like uh, box score. It right. might be the obituaries. Right. And it's like, so it doesn't have to be. Not everything has to be the most publicized thing. It's like, oh, maybe only a couple people read, you know, a book review. I never read those, but it's there for the people who need them. That's actually a great point. I never thought of. It's like uh, you've bought it, you're in. So now you decide what you want to read, as opposed to them trying to make you go, yeah. hey, look at me, I got no tits over here. Read, you look, look at my tits. That's what they do now. Yeah, they've basically cr made us into rubberneckers. Yeah, by by their stories are analogous to like car crashes. 